Coastal dune lakes are primarily freshwater lakes. They're found within one or two miles from the coast. And we have uh, 15 of them here that are named coastal dune lakes along the coastline of Walton County. And what makes them special is that they actually connect to the Gulf of Mexico to a larger body of water. So when they reach flood level, they make a channel through the sand, they break through the sand, and they exchange water with the Gulf. So they end up being a brackish water system, particularly on the southern side. When they open, the water bursts through the sand dune lines along the beaches and it exchanges waters with the Gulf of Mexico. Salt water coming into the freshwater lakes, there it gives all of the critters and sea life and the birds an opportunity to exchange healthy food supplies for all of them and continue that process for generations. I have caught bonita, barracuda, and octopus in the lake after storms. Uh, it's, just, it's just amazing the variety of fish. It's just a fascinating ecosystem. And I've never seen that anywhere else I've ever lived. They each have varying salinity. And that's the thing I think that really makes them so rare too, is that they're constantly changing. Each one is different than the others, but they also are constantly ebbing and flowing with the water from the Gulf, the groundwater seepage, the wind, the rainfall, the storm surge, all of these factors contribute to each lake. So they're all different, but they're all beautiful in their own way. They're unique. How many coastal areas can you go to and see something like this? See something that in the year 2014, you still have something that has been preserved, that is in quite a natural state. When you think that in all these years, they have still been maintained to be so such a natural thing, and the system that creates the the dunes builds up the berm, and you know the rain comes down and it flushes out the lake and it connects to the Gulf. It, it still happens. It hasn't been obstructed, and I think that's that's just incredible that it's still here. Sponsored by the St. Joe Community Foundation, supporting the arts, education, health care, and the environment.